What's up, guys? It's been a while since I've done an update, and I just want to welcome you back to Adventures in Drunk Fish Keeping. So, a couple new things. One, my 54 gallon tank is not a rotting cesspool of dead fish. I'm very happy about this because anyone pays attention to my channel, I had that entire tank crash and everything, and it died a horrific, tragic, painful death. Mm. It's refreshing. Helps take away from the fact that you committed genocide to a whole group of fish. But hey, beyond that, doing great. So you can see everything in here is doing better. Water's nice and clear. Got the nice green tail anthias, two oscillaris, um, four chromies, and uh, that asshole starry blenny. And he'll just be referred to as asshole from this point on because I'm not even going to call him by his actual name. He's an asshole. Um, there were six chromies in here. He systematically hunted two of them and beat them to death along with a um, Bella sleeperhead goby. Very expensive, very rare fish. He beat the hell out of it in 20 minutes before I could even get out of the tank. Um, the orange solarensis wrasse he beat the hell out of. And uh, oh, my orchid dotty back he beat the hell out of. My niger trigger he beat the hell out of. And oh yeah, my latest yellowtail Rass that I got Friday, he pinned against a rock and beat the hell out of. I can't catch him. He won't go after the schooling fish, and that Antheus kicks the shit out of him, so that's the only thing that I can keep in there right now. But that's going to change here shortly, because he's coming out of that tank, whether he wants to or not, he won't be able to hide. I haven't broke the tank back now because I don't want to stir much crap up since it's actually just getting back to running normal. Now, a couple things. Last time I did a video, my uh, 13 and a half fluval, <clears throat> um, Excuse me, my 13 and a half Evo was out in the living room. Um, I've since moved it into the main fish gallery, so I would say. Other people, normal people call it their dining room, but since I don't have any friends that come over to my house, uh, my dining room is actually my fish gallery, and my dining room table is actually where I store all my shit when I'm doing stuff to my fish tanks, like my charts and logs and do my water tests, and you know, makes it easy to have a nice table to sit at, because hell no one else is sitting at it. Mm. This tank still kind of same setup. I got the green dragonette in there. Um, got the green clown goby and a uh, tail spot blenny, which I got the tail spot blenny to where he eats out of my hand along with the clown goby. Um, dragonette won't eat out of my hand. For some reason, I heard they don't, they don't like people. I don't know. People could look into that maybe. I don't know about green dragonettes. Um, what I did move, if you'll notice, my. Flex is out of the corner now. Put it out in the living room. Uh, two reasons. One, I'm getting a 120 tank in here, and that's going to be set up as tank stand, open lid, two lights on top, goosenecked over, nothing suspended, uh, pump sump, media reactor, everything's going to go in there. Um, I'm getting a pretty much complete tank, lights, whole setup for smoking good deal. So I figured why not go to a bigger tank. Um, you're gonna do it really cool, light rock, blah, yeah. light rock work in there. Um, gonna kind of set up with bigger rock archways. Fish have stuff to swim between. I can put some coral up there. Still debating if I'm gonna keep the 54 because that tank, I believe, is just cursed with me personally. Between multiple fish deaths and a crash and everything else, I just I think honestly it's better just to take everything out of that tank. Put it in a 120 and sell that tank to someone else and let them start fresh with it cleaned out no sand clean everything out and just recycle the whole damn thing and start fresh um been debating to maybe take it and just put dry rock in there and turn it into a live rock generator and sell the, the live rock um to people who are wanting to get into reefing and want like rock to start with um I may stuff it full of coral and put some rasses in there that are really pretty. I may sell the damn thing. I don't know. Every time I get tanks, I end up going overboard and getting like, you know, if anyone's watched this channel, I went from six to four to three to four again to now three to four here shortly and maybe back down to three. So I can't help myself. Um, one of the other cool things though, and I kind of like putting the flex out here. For people that are uh, still wanting to get flexes or 
like Fluvals and like the design. Um, and anyone who's watching this at Fluval, hey, give me free stuff. I like Fluval stuff, please. But it's a really cool tank. <clears throat> um, you know, you can see how it's set up. You've got a good amount of depth for a 15 gallon tank. And you can see I've done some different aquascaping, uh, added a few extra plants in there. Uh, the oak and the java and just move the anubis around and i got another plant this mossy looking stuff right here that i literally cannot think of the name of no matter what i say um i did have a i did have one of my um jabos to the tank just because i really wasn't happy with the top water flow and i added one of my little 240 gallon per hour jabos to it just to get some flow fish like it they swim in it um it's keeping stuff fairly moved I'm not getting the oily buildup on top anymore um, since I'm not running like any type of protein skim or anything in the tank. Which, considering I've only got four fish in there, it's not a uh, it's not a lot, shall we say. Um, I kind of want to plant a little bit more, maybe add one or two more smaller species fish to it, and just kind of have a nice little schooling effect. I uh, still got the ram cichlid in there, the epistogramma uh, cockatoo cichlid, and this the three pastel tetras and some snails. So. I know I might add some more Tetris to it just to give some, some movement because the cichlids kind of just hang out on the bottom. They don't really do much. They swim around, but they're kind of fat and happy. Speaking of that, that German ram, you can see him, just how absolutely fat he is. He is a fat little German ram, and he is well fed and well taken care of. He's also very shy. But I want to bring you guys an update one, man. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated as I do the 120 and what I do with it and what happens with the accursed 54. Um, for people that want to do like cool, unique tanks, like you know, a corner, a hexagon, a, a bow front, some, some weird shit like that, uh, they are weird. Just I, I've never had a good experience with anything that's not a, a straight up rectangular tank except for the flex. Um, which I really wish Fluval did that in like a 50 or 60 gallon tank. I think that style and a 50 or 60 gallon tank would look really cool, fresh or salt. Um, especially the way Fluval sets them up with the back ends and how everything goes for the ability to put like, you know, a mini protein in there or anything like that. Uh, sorry, I was taking my socks off because I'm about to go to bed. Um, I haven't really added anything extra to any, any of the tanks, just a couple fish. Um, really just been kind of saving up money because this 120 gallon is going to be kind of like a turn it on and go type setup so I'm getting a whole the whole deal um, for people who are still thinking about doing reefs and stuff do them they're cool um, watch what fish you get like I was telling you earlier the asshole blenny most starry blennies are like pretty big babies they just chill hang out on a rock Mine is a psychopath, and I don't know if he just was in another system or just was had the shit beat out of him in the wild or what before he was captured, but that is the biggest asshole fish I've ever had. And I've had some bad fish. I mean, I've had trigger fish that he beat the shit out of. I mean, he beat the shit out of a self fin tang that was twice his size. That's an asshole fish. Um, so when people say fish don't have personalities, they do. Um, sometimes you end up with a serial killer. I think I'm going to name him, and I don't usually name my fish, uh, but I think I'm going to name him Dexter or something because he is a legit, or like Norman Bates, he is a legit psychopath. He systematically hunts shit in my tank and kills it. So um, That leads me to quarantine tanks as well. If you get a system, buy the 20-gallon and just put some basic-ass rock or something in there and, and use it as a quarantine so you can see if you have, you know, a, a serial killer fish like I have because I would have never put them in my main system. Which, when I do my 120, I will be setting up a dedicated little quarantine tank in the corner for to weed out the psychos or the ones that have, like, you know, fish aids or whatever. So. Quarantine tanks, good for weeding out fish with fish aids and psychopath fish. Um, this is it for this update guys. I'll probably have some more uh, stuff for you once I get the 120 in place. And as always, uh, comments, questions, post them on the down there on the YouTube and you know, somebody like the video maybe. So I'll keep doing them and not just 
pissing my time away. But if you enjoy the videos, like them, comment, something. Let me know you guys are watching or remotely give a shit. Cheers.